Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how I color my anime here. I've got a few requests on it. Um, now let's jump right into it. The clock rings and it's half past eleven. Can't believe it, but the time just flies. Soon I'll be on a cruise to heaven. Hearing stories in a thousand lies about the things that I never do. Experience that I don't have. So right now I'm just gonna put a line across, which will show you where the gradient will go and I'll explain more about gradient later. So right now I'm just coloring in a little bit of shade. You can go as much into detail as you want. Sometimes people like a lot of strands of hair, sometimes people don't, but preferably my style is very simple. Sometimes you want to connect the top and bottom with shading, but sometimes you don't. It varies depending on the shading of the hair right now I'm just doing a simple shade now I'm gonna use the blending tool and just blend out the bottom I'm not gonna touch the top at all because I want it to be very sharp so I'm just gonna blend it a little bit more now once I'm done that I'm just gonna fill in anything that I blurred by accident Tear it out of my cahier. Next time I'm not hesitating. I think I'm leaving today. I gotta pack, gotta pack up the Louis, and I can't leave a thing behind. Gotta pack, gotta pack up the Louis, or I'll be different and change your mind. I gotta pack it for every. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of purple on the top of it and blend it in. This way it's gonna have a little bit more color to it and isn't gonna look so plain, and you don't want the roots to be lighter than the bottom of the hair unless it's your preferred shading or where the light source is coming from now i'm just going to blend it in and make sure that it isn't too dark because you don't want the purple to take away from the blue at all now we're going to go on to the highlights i picked a lighter color than the base color for highlights some people like to use luminosity but i don't because luminosity is a little bit too bright for me but it can be different depending on how you like drawing. So now I'm just blending in. I like it to curve out a little bit because it doesn't make it look like I'm just putting lines. Right now my light source is coming from, it's kind of coming down on the character, but it's also coming from the right a bit, which you will see later on in the highlights that I make. just like to add a line on the bottom because it gives more highlights to it and makes it look really shiny. You don't have to do this but it's just my preferred style. Right now I'm going to show you guys how I color my line art. I like to preserve opacity on my line art layer and then color it in with any color that you want. Depending on your hair color, mine's blue so it's going to be a really dark blue. You want to leave the line art to be a little bit lighter on the bottom because the tips of the hair are always lighter. Now I'm going to show you guys how I get the perfect outline. Now I'm going to make a whole bunch of layers, copy and paste this into four. And I'm going to put it in a folder, and I'll show you guys how I make my outline. So now I color in each layer black. You can't see it, but you can see it in the side that they're turning black. So once that's done, I'll use control up, down, left, or right and that will move the layer in whichever direction you want to. Sometimes I like to do it a few times for each layer. Um, sometimes I only do it like once or twice, depending on how thick you want the outline to be. And each outline has to be the same number of clicks. Right now my first layer is going to be the up layer, which I'll do control up, and then it'll go up a little bit. Make sure you count the same 
clicks you make for each layer so it turns out evenly. Now I got a nice black outline. Um, you can color it in white if you want. Now I'm going to show you how I make the perfect circle. Everyone's keybind's different. Mine's delete for rotate canvas. Now you're going to use the curve tool. Um, you're going to click once and then you're going to click my keybind is delete for rotate canvas. So you're going to click delete, click delete, click delete and don't move your mouse at all because that will make your circle look really sloppy and it won't connect at the end. Move it any way that you want. You can make it different. Uh, since I used a line art layer, it will not blur when you move it around. And that's just a few tips and tricks that I can give you guys. I'll give you more in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.